God has something to say. God has something to say. Listen, listen. Pay good attention. For God has something to say. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself, Jesus. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for God all by yourself. You are God. You are God. Jesus from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. That's why we say we'll lift your name. Jesus will lift your name. Lord, I lift your name. We'll leave Jesus. Oh, let us leave Jesus. Above all the names. Brethren, leave Jesus. Let us leave Jesus. Oh, let us leave Jesus. Let us leave Jesus. Oh, we leave your name. to lift him up. Give him the honor. Give him the praise. Tell him, Lord, I will lift you up. Father, I thank you for what you are going to share with us. Father, anywhere I go, I will lift you up. People will know you through me. Others will see Jesus in me. God, I bless you. Lord, I worship you. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. We honor you. We bless you, Lord. The I am that I am, the King of Kings. Lord, we bless you. The strength of Israel. God, we honor you. Jesus, we bless you. The pillar and foundation of all remorse. Jesus, we worship you. The author and finisher of our faith. Holy Ghost, we bless you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Blessed Redeemer, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Redeemer, we honor you. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Father, we welcome you, Lord. Jesus, come and speak to us. We cover the era. We cover this place. We take authority over principalities and powers. We destroy all the interpretation of the devil. Father, we pray that, Lord, let your angels fly everywhere. Let your presence fill the camp. Let your presence fill the auditorium. Jesus, the hour has come for you to be honored. We want to know you more. We want to know you more. We want to know you more. Jesus, we thank you. Give us the knowledge of your word. We glorify you. We worship you, Lord. Abba, Father, we bless you. Thank you for loving us in this movement. 
Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for showing us more things. Thank you for revealing secret things to us. Thank you for your ancient. Thank you for your beginning. Thank you for your ending. Thank you for your loving kindness. Oh, Alpha Omega, I worship you. Thank you, Redeemer. For in Jesus' name we have worship. Father, we thank you for this another section. We give you praise. We give you glory. Revelation belongs to God because the Bible says secret things belongs to you. Father, as you reveal, give us wisdom to understand and to apply it in our life in Jesus' name. We appreciate you. If others did not, we, children of God, we appreciate your guidance. We appreciate your protection. We appreciate your revealing to us. Papa, we thank you for being so close to us. We give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed Redeemer, we worship you. We cover this message with the blood of Jesus. I pray that the hearer will believe and they will know that you are spoken. Papa, let your name be glorified. Be thou exalted forever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Please take your seat. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Good evening to all our leaders in this movement, holiness of our movement worldwide, even those in the, on, online. I greet all of you in Jesus' name. Before I share this revelation that I got in two weeks, some days now, two weeks, some days in the month of October 2023, I can't really know the specific date. It was something that prompted up for me to even share it with daddy because it was like, a, a revelation, I would say, to me, for me to know some things. As a woman, you know, sometimes you will sit down, I will not say murmuring in a sinful way, but as a woman, you need more time with your husband in the sense of, you know, to discuss, to, to talk, but you find it difficult to see your husband all the time because he's too, too busy. So sometimes... It's very hard, so maybe God make me to know where I am and the path that I've chosen. Hallelujah. And God is making me to know the person I have accepted to be a wife to. That the kind of calling God has called him to. And when I share it to daddy, he now said that this is a message for leaders to know. What is the definition of holiness calling? It is not only to you, my dear. You have your own portion in it, but it's good for others to know because this is a definition of holiness. What God has shown you is a deeper revelation. I was even laughing, playing with it, and he say, you have to sit down and get it ready to give the people. So I cannot tell the area, because I came to share with him, after one week, when we came back from Mina, I got the dream before we went to Mina, but I just keep it to myself because I was like, this is a message to me. And since I've known my calling, I've known the person I've married to, who he is, and what God wanting to do, the party I've chosen, what are the things I should know and I should endure. So what is the answer of sharing? Let me just keep it to myself. But it has been a burden to my heart. And then I was jokingly telling him, as I was explaining, they now say this message is not only for you. So before I go into the revelation, I want to read the benefit of revelation and what God talks about revelation. Revel in Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 to 23. Ephesians chapter 1. That the God, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In the knowledge of him. Revelation is benefit for we to know the wisdom of God. The knowledge of God. The mindset of God. Verse 18. And the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That ye may know that is the hope of his calling. And what the riches of his glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power. To us, us world who believe. According to the working of his mighty power. Revelation is there to make us to know the power of God. The blessing waiting for saints. Everything about God. You will be imagining. You will be thinking how God is. How God works. What are the things. You will even imagine heaven. God give revelation for we to know the power of God. The glory of our calling. The hope of all those that have called. The riches of his glory. The inheritance of the saints. You cannot, have, you cannot go to heaven physically. 
But now God will give you revelation to build up your faith. So I want you to encourage yourself and believe in revelation. Appreciate revelation. Even if revelation comes about you or say something that you don't like, see that God is revealing things to us. It pains me that people hate revelation, people criticize revelation, people disdain revelation, people speak evil about revelation, and even those God is using. I want to tell you that if you are not happy with revelation, you hate revelation, or you hate the bearer of a revelation, people that God use, you are angry with them, you hate them, you malice them, you disdain them, you see them anywhere you don't want to recognize with them, I want to tell you you are disdaining your God. Because revelation is coming from God. The Bible says secreting belongs to God. Nobody can know anything about you in your secret if God did not reveal it. So I want you to, because if your heart is hardened towards revelation, whatever we say here, you will just trust you. Some of you will be even sleeping. Some will get up and go and sit out and be talking, say revelation again. And I want to tell you, if you are doing like this to revelation, the time will come that revelation is going to bless your life, to give you the solution of your problem or what you are passing through. Your heart has been seen to revelation, you will miss it. And God will tell you when you die, he will say, when I was speaking, you had in your heart because you see that revelation is a hard thing. Revelation is condemning. Revelation, you have just made up your mind like a, a student will make up his mind or her mind not to love math. And he or she never know that mathematics is good for any cause in life. And time will come, you will be saying, oh, I wish I know math. Because any cause you are doing, you need to know math. How to do statistics, how to count, how to record your life. But many people choose not to love math in those days. And today in their old age, they are regretting. Some of you are regretting. But this is how the church is today again. Many pastors don't want revelation. Many members of the church don't love revelation. Many people don't love revelation, but when they die, they are now saying in hell, those that have missed heaven say, oh, I die no. Oh, I wish I should have believed that revelation. Oh, God sent somebody to me. Some pastors are crying that God sent a message to me, a poor woman, a, a person that came to me. A person that the Lord sent to me to come and tell me what I should do, but because I disbelieve revelation. So I'm talking to leaders, workers, pastors, founders that are all here, evangelists, both men and women. All of us are working in the vineyard of God. I want to tell you, no matter how a revelation is hard to your flesh, don't disdain it. Don't make up your mind to hate it. If you make up your mind to hate revelation, I don't want to hear revelation. Don't play revelation message here. You will be missing many things because it's true revelation. God reveals secret things that you can be praying, God, reveal my life. God, tell me what to do. God, where will I go? And God will not come physically and stand before you. I'm Jesus. Follow this way. He will send so many ways to you. Two dreams, revelation, speak to you through the word. Even the Bible itself you are reading is revelation. So may the Lord help you in Jesus' name. So, and verse 19, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the work of his mighty power? Hallelujah. So these are the things God will do for us if we listen to this revelation. And the topic of this revelation is the cost and rewards of holiness ministry. The cost and rewards of holiness ministry. In this, my revelation, as I said, based on as a woman, you know, sometimes you murmur. You know, if you call your husband, where are you? I'm busy, I'm in a meeting, I'm editing book, I'm praying, I'm this. So sometimes you will like, oh, this work is taking our time. Not for anything carnal, but as a woman, nobody in the house, my daughter have gone to the university, so sometimes you used to be lonely. You need somebody to gist with, to talk with, all this kind of thing. But daddy is 24 hours. It's like daddy even need to beg God to add to 24 hours for him. Because like 24 hours is not enough for him again. <laughs> because he walk, walk, walk and jump to the other day, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. He's even going to the other day, still walking, all in the name of getting things ready for this house of God, materials, editing, praying, thinking about his assignment, praying, all these things. Call is coming here, activities, setting program, setting many things. I can't mention all. Even me, I'm just following behind by the grace of God. We are trying to fill in the gap, but it's, it's hard to catch up daddy. That is, that is running. Hallelujah. 
So in this, my thinking and all these things, sometimes as a woman, I slept one night, and in my dream, I saw three men that were in Mufti. And in this dream, which I will call it dream or revelation in my night sleep, I saw a long corridor that people were sitting as we are sitting like this. There is a road between crowd of people, millions of people. And this, this, this road, this group of people is very large, very long, like you would say from the camp going down to a with God. People are still sitting like that. So I was sitting right like I came late or I was outside. And I noticed Daddy Rika was right inside. Like when you come to a program and the church is filled, so you have to sit down at the outside. So I was sitting outside. But we were hearing everything, especially me. I was seeing what was happening inside, even when I was not right down. It's like the beginning starts from all the way to like close to Gwagodada like that. But I was seeing the, the, the final place inside the hall where everybody was sitting, but it was a two partition. So as I was sitting there, I noticed there are three men. But these three men, other people are seeing them as normal um, human being that comes to it was like people that comes to give charity to organization like to churches so they are him of coming as I came to know in the dream it's like they came to give charity to group of churches and they came to look for a leader like group of leaders in different doctrine like if you are preaching prosperity they will gather all the prosperity preachers and then put a leader for them that is like the world leader for them so many churches were there but in this gathering it was pastors and their wife and those that don't have wives, maybe catholic those reverend father they were sitting alone but those that have wives everybody is a must that you should carry your wife along so i saw everybody sitting crowd of people sitting down so i was sitting outside and daddy rica was right inside so these two these three men that came to the people the pastors the preachers of different and different denomination that was sitting there they were seeing them because they were in the mufti seeing them in the in like these are organization people like government will send to churches to know how many orphans or whatever till we want to give money so that's how they were seeing them but immediately i look at them i was able to know that these are angels they are not but i noticed people were not able to pick them or notice them that they are angels so when I'm trying to like communicate to people that these people are angels, they are not. One of them look at me right in my hand, like warning in my spirit that don't, it is a privilege for you to know who we are. Don't mention who we are to them. So, as I was sitting outside, they will be calling. But what, what I was understanding in this, how they were doing it, it's like causes that people are offering in the school, in the college. Like they will say, all of you that are offering law, stand up. All of you are doing accounting stand-up. So, they were calling different doctrines in the church causes. So, they now say all those that are doing, you know, miracle causes that are, that are their own is miracle. You see group of pastors, thousands of them, they will stand up with their wives. Then they will write the number. These three men can calculate a number from here to, I would say from here to, to, to the town. Even if you stand from here to... Abuja city they just need to raise up their hand they will give the figure they don't need to be counting so they will write and then they now say those that are doing the cause of prosperity stand up so they stood up come and see crowd of pastors so me I was just sitting and looking at them I said wow so people that are offering this course see how there are many me I was like who is even who is the lecturer for these people and then they will say those that are doing a heart sanctification course stand up the, that is only scientific those that are preaching but inside they don't believe or outside they will defend it very well you only believe the outside you preach only that stand up you see group of pastors standing up and they'll begin to preach about those that are just believing in love gospel message the gospel kingdom love message they just stand up like this so as they were calling 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 like this people were standing and then they, they now say, okay, the last cause here we are calling, 
those that are offering holiness, stand up. Everybody was turning. Some said, which cause is that? Which cause is this? So as they said, stand up. Daddy was the only one that stood up. So when he stood up, everybody was like, ah, ah. is somebody standing? Then they now say, where is your wife? And I say, my wife is outside. They should call her. So when I was walking in the hallway, as I was walking, there are many things people were asking me as I was walking. They were asking me, you know, as you are walking, people are touching you. Ah, what, what is holiness? They will be asking me, ah, what cause your husband say he's studying? So as I was walking, this one would drag me. Hello, young lady. Your husband say he's doing what? Which cause is holiness? They will be laughing at me. Some will say, ah, even look the way she dresses. We don't even know them. Which, where are they even coming from? So this mockery was going on. Some will be asking me, ah, ah. Say, this cause, I think this cause have died since now. They have dropped it. Who is doing this cause? So as I still was walking, the question was too much for me. They were even asking, look the way she dressed. Is it how the doctrine uh, attire is supposed to be? Because you know in the college, lawyer, you will put black and white as this. So they were asking me, okay, this is your cause dressing. Some women will say, ah, me, I will not choose this cause. So, so this kind of mockery, pastors were laughing at me. Some were saying, ah, see, at this. they were just mocking. But me, I was doing, running very fast. So that I would go to where daddy was calling me. So as they were calling, some say, I have never heard about this doctrine called holiness. Say me, some people say, but I think holiness is a name now for God. It's not a doctrine. Holiness is just a name for God. Which one is doing holiness? We don't know holiness. Holiness is a name for Percy. So there is no cause that you are going to study about Percy. Then some preachers will be saying that, yes, we know about holiness. But it's a doctrine that has been dropped for long. Nobody can do it. So, I walk, 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 walk. I was walking, running, walking, so that the place was very long. As I'm going, this one will drag me. Hello. Hey, and she's a young lady. Oh, ah, which kind of cause is this? Only your husband are offering this cause. They were not making mockery, mockery of me. So, I walk in a long corridor, walking, and then I get to the place. So... And truly, I was looking strange among all the people I saw there. Because I saw bishop with big caps, with big chain, octodos, park store, big beers. They were just looking big. They were just dressed in their attires of this or somewhere there. A galia, this big gown that would drag on the ground. You see somewhere all this cross in their hand. Some dress the way they used to dress in their church to do ceremony. And you see their wives, some carry this fish cap on their head. The wives, big chain. You know, they dress this flamboyant way. So as I was walking, looking, I cannot see anybody that tie head like me or no adornment. My, I was wearing my, my gown. So they, I was just looking odd. So even then they were like, where are these people coming from? Where have you people been? So those kind of questions. Some would say, ah. You, where are you people coming from? We don't know about you people. Oh, ah, which one is this? So till I reach where daddy was. And then and daddy now offered me a seat and say, sit down. So the three men, they look at me and say, okay, you can sit down. So I sat down close to this big, uh, like what you say, fathers in the gospel. All these octodos, Catholic, the way they dress with all this bishop, kind of their clothes. They were in the one in the front row like this. So they gave me a chair, I just squat, sit down in one place. Then these three men asked Dadirika, why are you alone offering this cause? They asked Dadirika, why are you the only one offering this cause? Then Dadirika answered and said, I'm not the only one offering this cause. I have people that are offering this cause. Then this octodos preacher very mouthy, it was like he's, he's in control. His voice was very loud, like these people that, they are, you know, they have authority. So he stood up and said, with his chain and everything, the way he dressed, the gown was on the ground, put one rope on his, his beard like this. And then he asked the Dedeka, then, where are they? That's kind of threatening him. Where are they? Then the Dedeka said, he said, they are not here but I will include them into my list. Then the three men asked Daddy Rika, you will include them in your, you have their names? Daddy said, yes, I have their name. One is my father. 
that he was talking. They said, your father who? He now said, my father, daddy, Kumui. So, and then and now the man, the men that were writing, when he said, I'm not the only one preaching holiness. And then daddy Rika began to tell the preacher, the, 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 the three men that, even, I, he, said, my, he said, I have people that have been preaching it before me. So I am not the one that started it. He said, but we have this cause is preached. This cause is offered. People are offering it. Then the, the men ask, then the, the, the Orthodox pastor say, but you are the only one that have, that have stood up here and say, you are standing here and say, you are the one offering the cause. Who are the other people offering the cause? Young man. That is how he was calling daddy. Young man. Who are the people offering the cause? Then daddy say, they are offering the cause. I have leaked churches on them to show you that this cause is being preached and people are studying it. So it continued to go on. And then, and then the, the, the Orthodox um, preacher now turned to Daddy Rick and say, Young man, I want to advise you. The cause you have decided to do is a deeper cause. Very, very deep cause. Nobody, the cause have been ended. He started calling one particular year like this. He said, the person that tried to do that cause, to finish it, he ended in his time. Nobody picked it up in our generation. Then Daddy Rika said, no. Somebody pick it up. Holiness is there. So Daddy Rika was just trying to make the, the observers to, he's defending the faith because they are writing like, they are writing what is going to be presented to the leaders where they are going to. So that Daddy Rika don't want them to say there's not a holiness, there's no cause. No, they should not close this cause. This cause, people are doing it. So Daddy Rika was really defending it. Then this Octodos pastor picked it up strongly with Daddy, Daddy Rika. And he was saying that this cause, that the Octodos pastor told Daddy Rika, this cause has been stopped for years. So who we'll pick it up? Then Daddy Rika say. I said, my father pick it up. He said, who is your father? What, what impact has he done? And what impact did he do when he picked it up? Who even know him? What is he doing that you are saying he picked it up? My, they now turn to daddy Rick and say, let me advise you. So that you can join us. So that we will not waste our time here. We need to, do, we need to select what we are here for. So... He turned to Daddy Rika, the Octodos pastor, and said, I want to advise you so that you will not waste our time thinking that um, this doctrine that you say you want to offer or want to defend, nobody is with you. This doctrine has been, I know this doctrine since. It's not a doctrine that people go for. So, young man, I just want to advise you so that you will just decide now in this place to join us so that we will not have time because since they came for election, who will be the head for this department of prosperity, leadership. So Daddy Rika should not bring another discussion that would drag them. So he was trying to tell Daddy Rika that, please don't waste our time. Let me just give you some short counseling for you to know. Maybe you don't know this, because he was looking at the, stru- the, the statues of Daddy as a young man. This one not even know what he's talking about. That you just want to tell Daddy, advise Daddy, so that Daddy should know if he will continue or not. Then the man continued, let me tell you about holiness cause or doctrine. He said, holiness doctrine, you will never have your own way. Your way, your will will die if you go for this cause. These are the credentials of the cause. Your will, your way will die. Then daddy was looking at him. He said, there will be no time for any other thing in this world. This cause you are going for, anything you are thinking you have time for for this world, or even your family, to give them the time they need as full-time relationship or whatever you need to do in the world, desire to have, you know, like what man desire? I want to travel, I want to enjoy my life, I want freedom, I want car. He said, in this cause, you don't have your way. Your way is fully to God. Is God that have everything called your desire. It is a cause that study God deeper. Can you study? They look at that. They say, can you, can you study God deeper? God don't have ending. God, you cannot study God. So do you want to go for this cause? 
And this cause is a goal, cause that will please God fully. Not half in half. You must be ready to anything you say you must do. Even to death. This cause is to obey God fully. Not something that you will have your own way like this. Anything God say. So either he was putting fear into daddy because the way the man was bringing definition of holiness to daddy. And then he said to him, you will be always receiving from him. That is God. You will always be before him. And he will be the one to tell you to do anything about your life. This is the cause you want to go for a young man. Are you hearing me? Then daddy was just smiling, looking at him. Then the three men, they were looking at the man, talking to daddy. Then as he keep on, then the three men were, they told him that. Why are you, why are you frightening him? Then they turned to the three men. The man was very angry and said, no, we need to enlighten him. Because he's a young man, he don't know what he's going for. He just wants to waste our time here. Then the three men, they were smiling. They were still writing. Nobody knows where they are writing. They were writing. So when they talked to the three men like this, the, the orthodox pastor told the three men that no, they should not interrupt him, let him talk to this young man that want to just delay their time here, that he don't even know the cause he's talking about. Then he say, and then he said, let me continue to tell you, no time to please anyone desire in this world like any of your family members or friends or human being, you don't need to please them by your own way. You only please them by what the Lord tells you and who you should please at any time. So I hope you understand. In the holiness cause, you cannot, desire, you cannot give the desire of other people coming to you by you saying, okay, you will always have to take instruction from God. To do anything. And then he asked that, is he not bored? Why can't you just choose a cause that you can have your freedom to do what you want to do? And it's not stressful, just a one cause. And he told that Eric and say, the cause of holiness is not one cause. It's a cause that deals everything about God. It's, it's a deeper cause that deals with plenty subjects. Then daddy was looking at him. And then he said, see, you are a young man. You have not gone far in this line. You, this line of holiness you have desired. You can still drop it. You can still drop it. And join us. See how many of us. It didn't sound like this. See how many of us. We have our time. The causes we have chosen in this world. We have our time. God knows that we cannot do all his cause. So we choose the one that we can offer. And he understands with us. Because he knows that we cannot do all his cause. So, young man, why can't you not join us here and have your peace? Then you want to go into a cause that the cause is deeper cause. It's a wider cause. And let me tell you, it's a harder cause. It's a cause that have judgment that follow. It's a cause that it's, you don't go and play with God. Because it's a cause that before going to the cause, you have to determine to please God in that cause. It is not a cause that you can sin. Or it's, it's not a cause that you will sin or play with the person and then come back and say sorry. It is not a cause that you can abscond and then later come back to school. It is a cause as you have started it, you must finish it and you must end it well. And if you want to say, oh, you want to do any kind of this, it's a cause that have judgment that follow. So me, I was sitting and I said, ha, ah, this man, the way he's talking to daddy, I hope you will not convince him or he will not put fear into him. Because the man was talking with, with authority. He said, he said, time will come. He was talking to Daddy Rick Astin. In this your cause, time will come. All your dreams of being, having this or acquiring this will not be there. Everything desired will should come from God. God is the one that will tell you when to have this where you should go, where you will stay, tomorrow where you will go. You don't have anything for yourself. Your life is just by his hand like this. Are you sure you are ready to do this cause? And then he say, this cause, you will have plenty, plenty. He was doing his hand like this, plenty, plenty enemies. You will never fit into the world and you will never fit among us, the preachers in the world. And the world will spew you out. Then, 
where will you get souls to, to come and do this course? Where will you not have people to come and study this course you say you want to do? Who will follow you when you don't have friends? When the world, you cannot fit in the world and the world will spew out and enemies everywhere. Are you not see that you are the only one going to be bored in that course? Why do you choose to wreck your life like this? You will be bored. And then he say, young man, it will be too hard for you. It will be too hard for you. Listen to me now. I have been a preacher. He begins to say, I've been a preacher for more than 50 something years. I have led other people. I have been a preacher. I know the Bible. I know everything. He now told that when I, go before, when I went to God to be called of, to work for God, I told God I want to work for him. God showed me a big vineyard. And God told me that. I should choose what I want to do in the vineyard. What God is doing, God wants me to do all the work in the vineyard. But he will give us an op option. He will show us the vineyard. But in our heart, we know he's looking for somebody that will gather everything to clean the, the old vineyard. Then I told the Lord that, God, you know I cannot do it as a man alone to clean this vineyard. I don't know when I will stop. So I just take a, a portion of the vineyard. And God did not say anything because he said, God, they laugh. He said, ha, ha, ha. He said, God, that understand. God knows that that is the only portion I can do. That's why I just choose that portion. That is his own doctrine that he wants to do and left. And many went to God and God gave them the opportunity to choose what they want to do. Only you want to go and clean the whole vineyard. My dear young man, you cannot clean the whole vineyard. You cannot please God in, in doing that all. But me, I was like, why daddy is keeping quiet? Looking at the man, and he was smiling. I said, daddy should use word and give it to this man. He should say something. Let him know that he knows what he's doing because he's just looking as if daddy is, no, daddy is a small boy or daddy don't know what he's doing. He's talking as if he don't even believe in daddy know what he's saying. And then he says, he, the man turned to me and said, see your young wife. He said, see your wife, a young woman. And then he turned to me and said, are you sure? Are you ready to follow this man to do this course? And me too, I didn't say anything. I was looking at the face of daddy to defend us. So daddy was just standing there looking at the man. Me too did not say anything. He now said, you are just looking at me. Say something to deliver your husband. This course, young lady, it is a hard course. If you too want to follow him to do this course, then... You have to decide to do the course. And if you do the course, you are now going to be like a student student. Everybody is reading. You will not be thinking of pleasure. You will not be thinking of all this marriage pleasure. No. So are you ready to forfeit all your marriage pleasure just to do this course? It's a hard course. You too, you are, this holiness course, you have to, they, they say the course is going to rip you from all your desire. Everything called wall. You want to please people. You are now not going to be yourself. So this is the cause your husband is going to. You are not saying anything. Say something to him. Let him change. You people have not gone too far yet. You can drop it. So I kept quiet. And then as he was talking, others, the crowd, the voice say, let them say something. Yes, yeah, so only them. How can they continue? Please talk sense to them. This small lady, you don't even know who was cause your husband. Can't you tell your husband to turn out? Come and join us here. Look the way she even complained from everywhere. I was just sitting there looking at daddy. I want daddy to defend because I believe in his integrity. I said, daddy know the word. Let daddy fire these people with the word. Hallelujah. But he chose not to say anything at this point. And then he, he continued and say, he said, my, my dear long, young lady, it will rip you from all your desire. Are you ready to follow him? Talk to your husband. Talk to him. Then one of the three men said, why are you discouraging him and his wife? Leave them alone. They want to do the cause. They are ready. Then they love the cause. That the, the, one of the three men, that the angel said, they love the cause. They want to do it. You can see they are ready for it. Then the Orthodox pastor said, oh, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. He said, preachers, uh, he said, 
No, we need to enlighten them because they will disturb us if we allow them to go for this course. They will disturb us and they will bring confusion to our work. So please, don't interrupt me. And as he was talking to them like this, my heart was panting for him. Say, hey, this one did not even know who he's talking to. He was just seeing like these common uh, auditors that go around. He, he interrupted and shut up the angel and said, please, please don't interrupt me. You know this bishop authority, how they used to just come and everywhere is bowing to them. Please don't interrupt me when I'm talking. Let me put sense into this young man. If we did not enlighten them, this man and his wife, if we don't enlighten them, they will, they will, they will, they will disturb us and bring confusion to our work. Now see, they are even delaying us. We should have finished this voting and then go. He turned to daddy and said, look at me and everyone here. When we went to God to work for him, he showed us a wider land. He started telling daddy again. He said, all of us here choose one part of the other in the vineyard. Some choose it faith, prosperity, love, power of God, miracles, heart sanctification, salvation message, one save, ever save. And these causes we choose is only one, like one book to study one particular cause. We don't have stress. All of us choose one, one cause as the other. We know it and we give it to the people. And we know that God knew that we cannot do all. And for us, we knew that, we know that since we only choose to do one cause, we know we are not expecting higher reward at the end. We know we are not going to expect higher reward at the end. But it is better than don't have anything. But I believe, because I'm doing one part for the, the Lord, when I die or when I go before him, he will just give me a little reward. And it's better than, don't go in, it's better than dying and go to hell. So why you... I know your mentality. You want to have all the big reward. My dear young man, don't waste your time. It is a cause that is hard to finish. You can even miss heaven if you start and you do not finish. It's a cause that God don't play with. But we, we can live, we can have our time, our pleasure, we can have our desire in the world, and then still do our cause since the cause is not wide. So join us. It is an easy call. Just choose one of these calls. You can preach about miracle, or do you want to do about uh, uh, um, uh, um, the power of God? Tell people about love. Just be telling them about the love of God. Or do you want to talk about heart sanctification? Yes, tell them about how they have to be sanctified. Or do you want to talk about uh, um, uh, um, faith? Yes, you can just go and be preaching about it. These are just one one course that you can specialize on and say, God called me to preach faith only. God called me to do miracle only. Then you want to go and gather all, even our causes will be inside your cause. Holiness is wide. But no one thing, if you had in your heart, you will never be fit in among the, 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 the pastors in the world. We can never accept you. Then, and then he told her, he said, if you choose this cause, you cannot have time for yourself, for your young wife, you can have time for your family. You cannot have time to travel, enjoy your life. You can have time to possess all the desire you wish of man. Man will want to be rich. Man will want to have pleasure time. You can even have time to take vacation. You don't have time to be before God all the time. It used to be boring. So sometimes you cannot go and live your life. Just stay off from God and live your life. And then after some time, you go back to your calling. So when... He said, when we die or stand before him, at least we can make, we can have a little reward. That is all what matters to us. Then daddy, he cannot open his mouth. <laughs> daddy said, but you will not get him fully. If you choose to know God, only one part of God's body, then daddy did illustration. All of us in Orimo, when daddy is doing illustration or giving us Example, you will understand it very well. Then Daddy Rika say, All what you have said, I've heard you. But I want to tell you that you can do the cause. Holiness is a cause, I know, and it's deeper and it's wide. But I want to tell you, don't say nobody can do it. 
There are many people that have done it and they are still doing it and they have finished it. They finished the course. Then the man say, are you not understanding me? I say it was in our forefathers' days that they completed holiness courses. But in our generation, only few, he started calling some few people like he was calling some names I cannot remember again. They started it, they did not finish. Now in our present time, who is completing it? Who is doing it? Then daddy now said, I told you about my father. He now asked daddy, I know your father. Are you, which impact is your father? Which impact did your father make in the world with this holiness preaching? Who follow him? What is he still doing now? Which impact is he still doing? At the end, are you not seeing at the end? He's even thinking of doing our causes now. Then daddy Rika now say, no. He said, no. My father will not drop it. He will continue. He said, then do very fast to rescue it. Because it will be soon dropped. And you will be alone. Then I look at him and say, ah, why is this man talking like this? He said, you will not stand alone because you think that your father is there to help you. You will soon drop and do fast to rescue the holiness because who will stand with you? Then Daddy Rika said, then the, the three men now ask Daddy Rika again, say, are you sure people are doing this course? Then Daddy Rika said, yes. I am sure people are doing the call. There are even people. He started calling some names. He called a Yoruba man. Daddy called some people names I don't know. And then daddy said, yes, they preach it. And I have fact. Don't worry. I am going to put their names here. As I'm finished from here, I am going to gather their materials for you to know that these things, we are preaching it. And I want to tell you, I'm going to bring people. I didn't know that we're supposed to bring our people. I have people that I'm teaching this course, and we are doing it. People are doing it. Then the Octodos man turned to the three men and said, don't listen to him. He's just dreaming. Who are the people? Which people do you have? We don't hear about holiness. We don't know holiness. We have not had. We only know holiness was there. It's a doctrine of ancient of days. We don't hear about holiness. Then why are you delaying us? Who are the people will you go and call? Will you go and bring anybody to come and back you up? Daddy said, no, there are people there and I'm going to bring them. The next meeting, I will bring people that are doing this course. Then the man said, okay. Then the three men said, okay, okay. So you have fact that people are doing the course. He said, yes. And then daddy began to give the starting of daddy Kumui. He began to give John Wesley. Daddy began to call John Wesley. Daddy began to call other pastors and say, I'm telling you, they are there. They are there. He was calling other pastors, calling other pastors. They are preaching. And then the man interrupted him and said, these other pastors you are calling, don't forget, their holiness is not complete. Their preaching is not complete. Only your father that you are talking about, that we have heard about him for long, that he preached completely. But as I'm telling you now, even him, the thing is getting tired for him. Holiness is a hard doctrine. It is not the beginning, but it is the ending. Young man, listen to me. It is the ending. Take a look at your father. The ending, how is it going now? That's why I'm telling you, you can drop it now. Because the ending, it is not a cause that when you say the, hard, the beginning is the hard one. Or when you are getting to graduate, you say the cause is this. Holiness is a cause that every stage is hard. Are you not seeing at the ending now? The others you were calling, as daddy was calling other pastors, he now say, are they preaching complete holiness? They have errors. What the, these three men are looking for, when I say holiness, the man was talking to daddy, I mean complete holiness. Not somebody that will preach half holiness and don't believe in the other one. Holiness is to cover everything called this cause of God. Then daddy Rika now say, I want to correct you. That you are both and happy to know God in one part. He said, let me tell you, God is full. Now, if you want to bait somebody, you have taken the job to bait somebody. Daddy was asking the man. And then you went and was just baiting one hand of the person. And you are very happy. Say that I am baiting this person. You are only baiting, wasting time, baiting only one part of the body of the person. And after you finish, you go out and say, ah, the person will be happy I have baited him. Will this person be happy that you have baited him? Then the man look at daddy. He said, answer. You are happy because you only have one cause of God. And you are happy that God will be happy because you are only doing one part of him. You think God is happy? God is not happy with you people because you have decided to just abandon him. You don't want to dress him full. 
If you want to please God, if you want to please any man, that is what Daddy was saying. If they hire you, you have gone to the person say, hire me for the job. You must do that. You please the person fully. If they hire you to bait a, some, a person, you must bait the entire body of the person. Dress the person very well and bring the person out for people to see and rejoice. But how can you just be baiting one side of the body and then you go out and say, we have, I'll finish my course. Do you think you will have reward for it? Then the man said, don't think like that. God don't think that. that be, you do. And then the doctor does pass so sh- um, shut up that they can say, you are thinking like a man. Can you bet God? God is very wide. Daddy said, no, I am bringing example for you. Yes, God is wide, but God is understanding. Yes, what about our forefathers? Why were they able to finish the trust in God? Why were they able to be holy, keep holy? Why? Then the man asked him now. He said, I told you that some of them will drop it. They will drop it. They will not continue with it. Then he began to fire Daddy Rika. And then he now said, Paul, he said, Peter, didn't Peter drop it? And then Daddy Rika replied and said, and he picked it up again and finished it. Then he looked at Daddy like this. He bring another person again. He now said, what about Moses? Did you hear about his family? How many times did you hear about Moses? Did Moses see the promised land? And Daddy now said, but he made heaven. He was still favored before God. Then the man was looking at it. This man is very stubborn. Then he turned to me and said, young woman, talk to your husband. This cause is very hard for you people. But me, I was just looking up to daddy. I was not saying anything. Then the man said, he told daddy, take a look at those that started. They did not end it. If you want to do this cause, you are on your own, but you will never be fit in the world with us. And we too, we will spew you out of our mouth. And then, as he keep on talking like this, Daddy was, as the, the three men too, was asking Daddy, that are you sure you are continuing this course with all what this man has said? Daddy say, it is not I am sure or what. I am inside for this course. Please write it down. Take the report. Take it. Tell them that they are, the, the cause holiness have not died. Holiness is there. I have fact. And there's somebody that I've determined to do this cause. And I'm going to make this cause to be wide. I am telling you, people will love this cause. I'm going to make people to love this cause. So please, it was begging these three men. Please, don't carry, the, don't carry the report as if this cause has been wiped away. No, this cause is still being offered. And we are ready to, to do it. There are people that want to do this cause. Then the man said, okay. Then the, the three men was. So the Orthodox pastor with other pastors stood up and said, why are you telling them they should write holiness in this cause? Nobody is doing this cause. It's no waste of time. Why are you not taking the advice? They call the man name. Why are you not taking his advice? Why are you telling these three men to go ahead and record holiness and, and his cause? Which you know nobody is offering this cause. Then Daddy Dika say, I will offer the cause. And I have people that are offering the cause. And as I'm finished from here, I am going to meet my father to tell him we should team up so that we can come and tell you people that we can offer this cause and this cause is offered. Then they look at him. As they look at Daddy like this. And then I say to myself, I say, ha. Huh? Daddy was pleading with the three men, talking nicely, please, please, don't do anything. And then turn to the man and say, understand with me. Don't, don't say something that they will go and they will delete this cause. This cause can be done. I was ready to do it. Then as he was talking like this, I said, then I saw the, one of the angels writing under the Orthodox pastor some bad things. Then I said, this man did not even know. I said, but why is daddy having favor? Because as daddy is talking... They are giving credit to holiness doctrine. So I said, why is daddy having favor like this? Because both daddy and the men, they didn't know who those three men was. So as I was pondering on it, God spoke to me there and said the reason why Paul is having favor before the angels is because he has studied the word of God that says you should, you should respect people. The holiness, treat everybody in holiness. He says, see this way, the way this one is talking, he didn't know who are the people standing there. So he's thinking they are men like him. That's why he's talking anyhow. But him, he, Paul didn't know who are these people to but because he has trained himself to deal righteously with anybody. That's why he's escaping his reports. That's why he's finding favor to defend his faith. Then I say, oh, then God now said that. Let it be a lesson to all of you that you should show respect and love to anybody, 
It is not only people that you know. Anybody you come across, treat them righteously. Deal with every matter with human being righteously. It's because Paul is using righteously. Because the way that he was talking, even the way the man was rebuking him, shouting at him. If it's another person, it will be shouting at the person. What, why are you shouting at me? But daddy was like, please, sir. He was still begging the man, understand, we can do holiness. And daddy began to like, try to convince them and say, we can do it, we can do it. And the man said, nobody can do holiness. And then the angel that was writing now was talking and say, he said, look at damn souls gathered here to hell. He was talking to the other man as if they are not here. The people were not hearing them. And now say, can you see the mentality of man? Can you hear what they are saying? That see the way they have, they have put God in their own imagination. That when they just choose one cause of God, that when they go ahead, they can just give them a little reward. He said, look at these people. Who has bewitched this man? Who bewitched this man? Look at how they gather themselves and then they are going to hell. He said, look at them. Can a man hire somebody in his company to work and the person is not full-time there? Little thing, you will work a little and then leave and go and spend all the hours outside. Can that owner of the company be proud of you at the end? Will that, company, will that owner of the company give you a reward? These people don't even know who is God. They don't know that you must do the complete knowledge of God, know everything about God before you go to heaven. Look at them. They think that because they are doing a part of God and they will go to heaven. They don't know that God is not like that. It's at the end, they were going to know that prosperity alone will not take them to heaven. All these, their causes that they have decided to say they are preacher of, they will never see the face of God. It should be complete. That is what this man, this man is telling them. Paul is telling them, but they did not know because it's only him standing. So the other one said, that is the way they have chosen. Let's just write the report and carry it to our master. So I was like, God, help these people to know what these people are saying. So as they were talking, the Orthodox pastor began to talk, and then Daddy Rika now turned to them and said, without holiness, you cannot see God. Daddy began to preach to them. You can never see God without holiness. And then the man now said, no, God knows that nobody can be holy. The Orthodox pastor rise up against Daddy and say, don't deceive them here. And turn to the crowd of pastors and say, don't be deceived by what he's saying. You and I know that nobody can do holiness. We can never be like God. We can never be perfect. We need, we, we need our own life too. We need pleasure. We too, we need our own life to be run. If we enter into holiness, and then he was talking today, any one of you that decided to change your mind to follow holiness, let me tell you and tell you clearly, holiness is a hard cause. Holiness is a cause that you have to be before God. Everything about you is God. Holiness is a friend to God. Anybody that decided to be holy or preach holy or uh, do the cause of holiness is a friend to God. And if you know you are not ready to be with God, God is 100% perfect. And man, you know, we have a future, in, we have a, a, a spirit. A, 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 a something in us that you can never be perfect. So as you are before him, if he found out that you are not perfect, he will destroy you. So he was telling the pastor, don't listen to what he said, don't convince your mind. Let us try to convince him to be on our side. Then Daddy Rika said, no, God is not a wicked God. You are putting God in a bad way. God is not like that. God is a loving God. Yes, it's good to know God. God will be, God will be happy with you to know him. Come to holiness. Daddy was telling her, come to holiness. Come to holiness. You can do the cause. I have started the cause for how many years? Daddy began to tell them. I have started the cause for how many years? And I want to tell you that I have not gotten tired. I always get knowledge. I always have God by my side. And I've been enjoying God. Then he turned to the orthodox pastor. Why are you making them to feel as if they cannot do it? You are the cause that you are making them to see that God is wicked. Don't defend our God like this. It's not a wicked God. Yes, I know the cause is hard. But that is the cause that will take you people to heaven. Go and study any half cause. You can never go to heaven. Then the man said, no, we can go to heaven. We will go to heaven because all of us are doing cause for God. We are all servants of God. Daddy said, you are not fully servant of God. You are just part servant of God. You are not fully. You must be a full servant of God. Then he now told Daddy Rika that, I'm just warning you because you cannot do this cause. You can never do this cause. Daddy say, I will do this cause and I will finish it. Then, Daddy now turn to the three men and say, please, please, the next meeting that we are coming, I am going to bring 
like students, like my colleagues that I have introduced this course to, and they are ready to do it. And to your, I'm going to bring the books, the literatures of my father to tell you how many years he has been preaching this, this message. I just wonder why you people say you don't know him. Then the man said, we say we knew him. We have heard about him, but we are just asking you, you, that you are, you are boasting of your father. What has he done? What impact? Who knows him in the world? That is how the man was saying that. Who knows him in the world? Then that is said, yes, he's known in the world. He said, where? Where? What, imp- what impact did he do to, uh, do to the Christendom? What, what did he do in Christendom? Who follow him? How many thousands of pastors follow him? How many pastors follow him? Where are the other pastors? But look at us. Only miracles. He was telling them, stand up. Thousands of pastors were standing up. He said, this is what they call impact. Then he turned like this. All of you that are preaching um, 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 prosperity, stand up. Then they stood up like this. Then he was showing that. He said, this is what they call impact. Then he was turning to this one. All of you that are preaching, won't save, ever save. Stand up. They stood up like this. And he was just showing, boasting to daddy. And said, do you see? And all of these people have a leader that started with them, make impact. And some of them have died. Some of them are not there. But they, they make impact in the world. See? And this is how they are growing. Where is holiness? You that you are doing holiness, stand up. Nobody stood up. They were laughing at daddy. They were laughing at him and say, yes, you that you were impacted by his father as he's talking or in the world, stand up. Nobody was standing up. Then he turned to daddy. And you say you want to do this course? Daddy now say, where my father stopped? I will continue. And the whole world, you will be surprised to see I we have people all over the world. He said, give me a few time. Then daddy turned to the people, the, the three men. He said, please, give me a few time. Just short time. The next meeting that you are going to come, I'm going to shock all of you. We are not going to be more than you, but we are going to match up with you. That's what daddy told them. Then, then the man said, I want to see it. I want to see it because we have sent message round." everywhere in the christian dome you can never do this course so it's going to be hard for you paul that is how you look at that he say it's very very going to be hard for you your father is going round it's hard for him it's very very hard for him he's now as i'm telling you he wished to just rest because he have get tired so you you will not do it because when will you begin when will you stop that is a i have started already he now said well your ending. I wish you will end well. Daddy said, I will end well. I will end well. So as daddy was talking like this, I was like, God, please, this threatening is too much. It's like somebody that, let's just go outside. The man was talking, they were like, hey, let us go. I said, let them go and beat daddy and say, daddy have delayed them or whatever thing. Because the man was very wrought. He was very angry. Carry his, his, his gown. Throw it like this. I was looking at this man and say, I'm talking, you are talking. I am talking, you are talking. You don't know regard, you don't respect. Daddy now said, I am defending the faith of God. I am not disrespecting you. You are making others to harden their hearts to the main cause. I want to tell all of you. Daddy now stood like this and said, all of you that are hearing me, I want to tell you whatever he has said to you, it is not true. Don't disbelieve holiness. Don't see it as a hard thing. I'm telling you, it is a sweet cause. Then they were doing like daddy like this. Some were like, let us leave. But the way daddy was going, as the man noticed that people that nodded their head to believe what daddy is saying, he would just stand up like that and say, if any of you believe this thing, we will spew you out of the kingdom of Christianity. And you will see the pastors that will sit down. They will be sitting down. But my surprise is that these pastors are so many that only this one man will talk and all of them will just quiet. If daddy is talking, making sense, bringing scripture, telling them, look at our forefathers. They did it. They overcome. They win. Holiness is like this. If we talk that holiness cannot be, cannot, be, cannot be able to do, then what is the essence of God? God is holiness. We need, can't we even think of knowing our God? Holiness is a cause that you will know your God, who he is. Can't you love God to know who God is? You don't want to study about God. Some people will nod their head like, and this, this man say, and then the man will stood up and say, don't body should believe what he's saying. You can never study God. You can never know God. It's very hard. And him, he, he cannot show you mercy if you play with his cause. That, and then the man told that, that holiness is the cause of God. 
and he's sitting now waiting for anybody that wants to do the cause. And that cause, you don't play with it. Then daddy now say, that is the cause I want to do. And I believe I am going to bring people that will do this cause. But the way you are talking, sir, I'm telling you, you are the one making people not to believe that holiness is a sweet cause. Then he say, yes, and I will continue to tell the whole world that holiness is not a sweet cause. And you can never got a soul that will follow you. Instead, if you want to preach your holiness, mix it. Maybe you will, get, you will have people. But if you want to go according to this, your way that you want to follow, I will be the one to contend with you that nobody will hear you. Then the three men now say, for conclusion. So the man now turned to him and said, tell the three men, the Oxidus pastor, and say, please, just delete holiness from the book. Don't waste your time. This man did not know what he's talking about. Everything he's talking about, the forefathers, all the, 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 his father and whatever it was, I knew them everywhere. And then he did his hand like this and said, they are here, I can see them. I know their history, I know when they started, I know everything about them. But him, he just wants to be proven stubborn. But I want to see your ending. I will be watching at you. I will be following you to see the ending. And one day, I will come to you and say, didn't I tell you? Then that did not say, there will be no day. Instead, I will be the one to tell you that day when all of us will stand before God as preacher that I, I pass the cause. Amen. Amen. And then the Octodos pastor now turned to the, to the preacher and said, can you listen to us? We are more than him. Then the angel now say, in this my judgment, we give right to every individual. We don't follow by crowd. We respect everybody believe. For the mere fact that there is somebody that stood up and said he's offering the cause, we have to give him that respect. So because of this one, now we have two faces to, come, to, 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 to look in. Then the man asked him, why do you want to cancel this meeting? Why do you don't want to give us our charity you brought? Because there were bags of gifts and whatever. The man now said, no. If it was only you people, maybe when I asked for different causes, no, everybody was doing your course of line. I should have just do the, do the selection and then write the name of all representatives of different causes. But now that we have somebody that have come out from your own line, is standing alone, we have to give him that regard. And he has promised us that we should give him time so that he can bring people that will do his own cause. We cannot share this thing again. This gift will be here. The charity is going to be suspended. It's going to be held until we wait for him to bring the next meeting. He said, he has promised us faithful. Then the man turned to him, Paul, is that so? Then daddy said, yes. He says, so the next meeting, you will bring your own people that when I will be saying holiness people to stand up, they will stand up. Daddy said, very, very well. And I'm going to bring them. You will see them. Not even one or two. two. Not even one, not even two, not even three. Daddy was just counting. And then the man said, you are making mouth. The man provoked, come before daddy. Why are you making mouth? Why are you making out? You just want to delay us. Small, he's a young man like you. I am talking. Don't you know I'm your father in this kingdom war? Daddy say, I have a father. I have a father. I have to defend it. You are not proving to be a father for us in this Christian door. You are proving, you are making us to see our father of this Christian door is a liar. That is the thing that is making me to not to be angry with you. I'm not disrespecting you, sir. Then he now said, you are disrespecting me. When I speak, others bow. When I talk, others bow. Why are you challenging me? Why are you challenging me? Don't you know I have the final say in this kingdom work? Then daddy now say, no, you don't have the final say in this kingdom work. You are a student, I'm a student, and we have one person that is our lecturer. That is the person I fear. Then the man now turned to the three men and said, do you hear him disrespecting me? Do you hear him disrespecting me? And you are not saying anything? How do you want to give this man a leadership over people that he cannot respect me? I've been here before him. Then the three angels said that. But he's not disrespecting you. He's just defending his faith. Then he now said, it's like you are taking side of Paul. You are taking side of Paul. He now said, no, I am not taking side of Paul. I am a just 
just I'm a just leader, a just like person that come to audit or what I'm a just auditor here or whatever. I am listening to both of you. I am not taking side. But listen to what Paul is saying. He's defending his faith. So I cannot put I cannot say he's disrespecting you. Then the man now say, but what I say is final. And I'm and everybody have chosen me to be the leader of the Christians all over the world. So if him is coming to do Christianity in another cause, he should respect us because we are more than him. Majority carry the vote. Then the three men now told him that that is the slogan of the world. Majority carry the vote. In heavenly cases, it is not majority that carries the vote. Then he now, the three men told him that in heaven before God, God did not see majority that carry the vote. God is looking for quality, not quantity. So get this in your head. So all of you that gather yourself thinking that it's by your number that you will change God, you can never change God's standard. That is what the three men said. So they begin to speak like we are not novice, making these pastors to know that we are not novice. We are just being quiet listening to you people, but we are not novice. They begin to like, although they did not change to their glorious form, but they were started speaking out, like bringing things about God. So they were talking to the man and said, you are, you are thinking that it's because of the crowd. God did not see crowd. God is not after crowd. God is looking for quality. I am so thrilled. I am so happy for one man to decide among millions of you sitting here to say he wants to study God. And you, you say you are a servant of God. And you don't know anything about God. How will you open mouth to say you, know you are doing something for somebody that you don't know the person? Can you, can you proud for somebody that you don't know? The man look at him and say, what are you trying to say? He now said, that is what I'm saying. Then the, 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 the orthodox pastor asked the three men, what are you people trying to say? He now said, yes. Can't common sense teach you that how can you say you are representing God and you don't know about God? Which kind of cause is that? You are saying you are studying this cause, but you don't know the dictate of the cause. How will it defend your paper? Him, he say he want to know God and you are here discouraging him. Well, I give my conclusion. And then the man say, we will, now have to, we will now have to end this meeting. No charity is sharing. We are not giving anybody leadership here. Neither are we going to, to, to appoint anybody or give you people any, any charity. Because of this young man, Paul, I've decided to open this book of holiness. And we are going to do this course. And we are going to give him the right for him to bring his own people. So... We end this matter here now and we are waiting for the next meeting for Paul to bring his own people. And you heard him that he said, he's convinced and he's sure that people are out there. You are saying nobody is out there. Then the man said, yes, I say nobody is out there. All the holiness they are preaching there is not complete holiness. We know what they are doing there. Nobody can stand this holiness in the world. You cannot do the complete holiness. Then the angel said, but Paul, you say there. Be, then daddy said, I am sure. I know what I'm talking. There is somebody that is doing, even if I'm pointing other people I have not been under. My daddy, that is, her daddy was so proud of that he came in this dream. My daddy, my daddy preaches the truth. I pick it from him and I'm doing the complete one. And then he, the, the three men say, will you bring the fact? He say, yes, I am going to bring you material literatures for you to go through it and see the causes and see my write-up for you to know that every topic I am giving the complete standard of holiness and I'm going to bring all the other write-up of my father all these messages for you to listen to it to know that my father is preaching the complete truth yes I know what you people are talking because you have overshadowed him in the world but I want to tell you that I we if my father did not end it I Paul, we pick it for my father and I will run with it and we finish it. Then, amen. Then the orthodox pastor said, then the battle line has been drawn. You challenge me, the leader of Christianity. I want to tell you, pastors are in my hands. I rule the pastors. I give causes to people. I give them, I open their eyes to know the benefit for them, make them feel relaxed. And you want to disgrace me. You will not make it in this Christendom. Then daddy now say, see, you say that you are doing your cause, 
Me and you, we will not clash because you have your own cause you are doing. Me, I have my own side where I'm doing my cause. Then the man say, I will be going to your place. Like when you say you are in your own classroom, I'm in my own classroom. The man say, I will be going to your classroom to oppress you. Then the three men now say that, no, don't do that. You don't have right to oppress him. Don't oppress him. He now say, no, we'll be oppressing until you bow before we we'll leave him alone. And then he turned to the other pastor. Is it not so? They all of them say, yes, we will oppress him. We will oppress him and we will block him. Then daddy now turned to the three men and say, don't worry, we know ourselves. We have been in this Christian dome. We know, uh, we, uh, you will know this Christian dome business. He said, don't worry. It's because they are seeing me standing here alone. By the time I bring my people, people that have understood this, we are going to tell them what they, they don't know. Then the, then the three men now say that, I see, Paul, you have confidence. He said, no. What I'm studying, make me to be bold that I am not alone. And I am not going to be alone. I know this cause, I will do everything for this cause not to die. This cause, people must love this cause. This cause will be studying in this, in, the, in, this, in this Christendom. I will make sure that people must know this cause. And as he have made me to know that, that they have been oppressing my father, I am going to do more that where my father stopped. I'm going to do it. I am not happy with the way this Mr. our leader that he was talking about as a father in Christendom. Look at him. This Christian leader is talking. He is discouraging me that. Why will they say that we cannot know God? Why, why are they saying that God is wicked? Why are they saying that nobody should choose the, the cause of God? Daddy was lamenting. Daddy would begin to lament and was talking. I am not happy. I am not happy. And turn to all the pastors and say, all of you, you have done this to God. You have done this to God. How can all of you, millions of you sitting here, none of you wanted to study the cause of God. None of you want to know God. Don't you know that knowing God is a thing that will give him joy? Why do you people choose to be like this? They were just looking at him like this. In my heart, I was like, Daddy, leave them. Don't worry. They don't understand. Let's just go and bring me. I was like, we have people now. We have members. Let's just go. By the time we gather our members to come and sit here, they will know that we too, this cause is wide. I said, so don't waste your time. He was talking to them. Daddy was talking. Why do you people don't want to be, don't want to do holiness? Why you don't love God? Why you don't love God? As he was talking, the man too stood up and said, don't listen to him. We love God. It, it doesn't matter if we don't know all. It, is it matter that we, is he a must that we should know everything about God? Is he a must? Is God complaining? And then a three man told him, I said, listen to me. God is not complaining. You know why? Because it's God. He's allowing you people to run the way you want to run your life, your ministry. But I want to tell you something. Fear the God that is quiet than the one that speaks. Because at the end, you will not go and meet him. And then Daddy Rika say, that is what I'm telling you people. It's more dangerous to go ahead that you are going to meet God and you did not study him fully. That is my pain for all of you here. He prefer you study God here now and know him all. So that when you go to meet him, you will not to please him in any angle. He comes to see you. But now you are only going one sidedness. You are going one mind. And you think, how you, are you going to undo God before your, your place there? Then the angel now said, listen to what he's telling you people. Because hmm, God can be changed in different form. God is not a one way. Today, he can be happy. You can meet him in his throne. Happy with you. Tomorrow, you will meet him like a lion. If you go the next time, you will see him in a firing form. The other time you go, he's in a judgmental form. So that's why you need to study everything about God. So that any time you stand before him, you meet him in any of his, his glory, you will know how to appease him. But if you only study when he's happy, you only study about his love. When you stand before him, when he's angry, what will you tell him to appease him? Then the orthodox man was looking at him. Then the three men said, I'm just giving suggestion. It's up to you people. Knowing God in all the causes, that is holiness. It will help you to know God in his different form, in different mood. Today, you can be before God is happy with you. 
tomorrow God will be in his judgmental form. Next tomorrow, it can be in a second, God will change like this. In, a, in the twinkle of an eye, God will change like this. But those that know their God, they will know how to please him in any seconds, in any minute, any time he change. They will know when and how to please him. But you, that you are only studying one course, you are only specialized in one, one doctrine, and you are only knowing God, love of God, love of God, prosperity of God, prosperity of God. When you go and stand before him and he's not in the mood of love, how will you please in his lying form? The other pastors were looking at him. Then the angel said, I've sent my own. It's up to you people for the next time we are gathering. Those that will decide to do this cause, holiness, it's a cause, it's hard. We will not lie to you people. It's a hard cause, it's a deeper cause. And it's not an easy cause, but it's a cause that anyone that does that cause, God will make that person his friend because the person is studying him. And God will be so pleased that, ah, you want to know me? It's a love to him. It's a big love to God. Anyone that chooses to know God, God will love that person because the world don't want to know God. So it's finding it difficult to find people that want to know him. So if you get any one of you that want to know him, you have gotten God for yourself. But if you still want to know, know God from his path, you are free. But next time we are coming, we are going to settle this matter. Those that are going for the holiness causes, they will stand up. As Paul has said, he will bring the, the people, will hear him. And then the Orthodox pastor told the three men, don't deceive yourself. Even if you come after how many years, nobody will stand for holiness. I have said it is final. Then Daddy Rika said, then I challenge you now because you want to become God over my brethren. You are not their God. Me too. I am going to team up with my people that will believe in holiness. We are going to make sure that all these ones you have put in your hand and you have put yourself Lord over there. Since you don't want to listen to the counseling to this, even these young men, Daddy was calling the angels, young men, even these young men are talking to you, giving you sense that God is, God can God can display in a second. You still had in your heart and you are the one talking for all these ones and these ones too, they are following you. We too, I will not obey you. I am going to make sure that holiness will be preached and we must show love to God. And then in Alto Daddy that, I have marked you. That is how the Octodos pastor did to Daddy. say, I have marked you. We will go outside there. Then they started walking. And when the man was going, he say, he now talked to me and said, you are sitting here, that is me, young woman, you are sitting here. You have been in the side of your husband. Your silence has shown that you have been in the side of your husband. You people will suffer it. I pity you as young as you are. We are ready for you people. You can never, you and your husband, fit into us. In my heart, I reply him, I say, we don't even want to fit in you people. Oh. We have our people. So we don't even want to fit with you people. So he, he stood up like this, big, big books, a, a key like, a, 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 something like a cross in his hand. He carried it like this and he was walking. And when this man was walking, as he's passing, people are standing, following him, pastors, different dressing, different colors, different attire, some with rope, some with, they were following him. He was going, and then he turned to Daddy Rika and said, you see the way I'm carrying them? They are mine. You cannot get them from me. And was carrying them. And none of them sit down to say, no, let me in the side. They stood up like this. They were, in fact, I cannot count their number. When the man was going so far, I cannot even see the Octodus pastor again. I just saw a crowd following him, following him, following him. And then these three men turned to Paul, to Daddy and did to him like this. Daddy was just standing like this. The team pained him. And then daddy turned to the man. Then the man lay hand on daddy and then said, Paul, I know it is paining you. Because you see your brethren, your brothers, they are leaving your God. He now, daddy can now turn to him. And what will I do for them to hear? What will I do for them to believe? Then the man now say, don't worry. See. They have chosen their path. You go and do what you say you will do. The next meeting, we will send a message to you so that you will bring. But because you have promised us that you are going to bring people, we will delay to come so that you can go and gather people. 
we are supporting you, but we don't want them to know we are supporting you because they will judge us as we are biased. But I want to tell you, we are impressed. Now, even we hear that we are writing this report, we are so sad when nobody, as we have been calling, none of them stood up to defend God or to say they want to do the cause of God. Even we are like, this is the report we are going to give our master. He's going to bleed his heart. How can none of my children want to know about me? But I'm telling you, you change the situation. When you stood up and say, I will do the cause. And with all that thing that this man was telling you, we were in our heart praying for you that you will not give up to say, okay, okay, I joined them. But we see that you stood and say you will do it. I want to tell you, Paul, don't mind the crowd. Don't mind them. Because of you now, as you have said, we are going to talk to our master to give me small, to, to delay our coming because that coming we are going to come is the final report we are going to give to our master. He said, you see this gift? Then I saw gift, countless number of gifts. You see, you see this gift? It's for the church. We are going to give the gift. The work is going to end. That is why he told that day. The work of the church is going to end very soon. So these are the gifts and reward for everybody that have been working in the vineyard. But it was so discouraging to us that nobody is going to get all of them, the causes that we are talking, there is nothing gift for them here. Well, we are just looking for the people that are studying the much cause. The, much, the, the wider the cause, the greater the reward. All of them that are doing one, one cause, nothing for them. Then Daddy Rika say, please, give me small time. Let me go and gather them. Then they now say that, we will give you time. We will give you time. We will delay for you to run and go and gather them. This cause, make people to believe in this cause. It is the way they have presented this cause. But Paul, we like you because you have understood this cause. This cause is a good cause. Go and open the eye. Tell people the benefit of this cause. This cause, we give them favor before God. We have been with him. We know him. It's only holiness that we make man to know God. Please, go now. Don't follow this road they are following. Go like this. It's like maybe the angel was like, they will go and wait for you there. Go like this. And when you go like this, you are going to open, you are going to land in a new place. Before they get there for you, you will be able to gather. And then daddy now say, I have people too. Then the man say, yes, you will pass here. And then go to your people. Gather them. Make sure you tell your people. All of them should be studying. All of them should get ready because I know when they are going to come to face this Millions of pastors. It's going to be tug of war, like questioning, like answer. Let them study their word very well so that they can defend this holiness. By you people defending this doctrine, this doctrine will be, will be number one. Then daddy now say, okay. He says, so I'm giving you, the, the, like I'm giving you leakage. If your people, you say you have people that they want to do this cause with you, Daddy say, yes, I have people. If I knew, I should have bring them. But because they say it's only husband and wife, that's why I'm here. Then the man asks, okay, but what you will tell your people, make sure they study very well. Like they should cram the, the doctrine in their head. So when you come with your group of people, you will sit with them one side. And it's going to be a debate that which cause we win. And the way I see you, you are intelligent. So go and pass that knowledge. And don't forget to gather your father um, 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 teaching to defend, to add more. And then make sure you gather all the proof to show that people have been preaching the holiness. So that you can defend this holiness doctrine. Even we here, we are happy. Then the, then the angel turned to me and said, you have seen the cause of your husband and what it takes to do this cause. So now you have heard from that man, it is a hard cause. It is a cause that everything desired about yourself should die. Then the man will say, are you hearing me? I say, yes. He says, so now you have heard the, oh, the, like, the people are saying, you cannot fit in this world. And what they are telling you is true, but don't be afraid. This world, don't bother about this world. Just try to do this holiness, study this cause. This cause needs your time. Don't do, don't read and leave it and go and sit down. No, 
your eye should be on the word of God to fall because that is the cause so that you will not fail. Holiness, there is no mistake in holiness. When you are writing your paper, there should not be any mistake. That's why you should be with God 24 hours, seeking him, going deeper in his word. Because when the final day comes, there is nothing mistake. Other causes, you will do mistake and then you will fail and whatever thing. But holiness, they are judging it strictly. So the man was telling me, do you hear me? I said, yes, sir. He said, it is a strict cause that when they are marking, he said, let me tell you, God is the one that marked the paper of holiness doctrine. So it is a hard cause. So if you know you people are not serious to do this cause, just, just like what they are telling you, join them and be among the multitude that will be destroyed. Let me tell you, nobody will do one cause and go to heaven. The, the man told daddy like that. He said, if you later decide to follow them, you will not see heaven. Daddy said, no, I will not go to, I will not go to them. He said, nobody, mark it what I'm telling you. Do one cause. Maybe you choose to preach faith alone. It will not take you to heaven. So that is what the angel was telling us. Young woman, are you hearing me? Go, if you want to follow this, your husband. It is not one cause. It is something that everything desire about everything about your life should be dying. Holiness cause is God in control totally. Move here, you move. Sit here, you sit. Get up, you get up. You should be before him because as he's doing the cause, it's like a lecturer one in one. He's always there to teach you. And you should always make yourself available to be before him. So that is the cause. Your husband have chosen to be to do. So now you have known your calling. Then these people begin to like revealing themselves to us, talking to me. Now you have seen your calling, you have seen your husband calling. You have known what to do now. That maybe all this my little sadness, I miss my husband. So the angel is now saying, I hope you have known the calling now. So you will now need to sit up and know the calling, the side that your husband has chosen. This is the calling and the calling is holiness calling and these are the criteria, are the standard are the requirement for holiness students anyone that want to do the cause of holiness should die to flesh all desire got everything i want to have this i want to do this i want to fly i want to lie down all your desire is going to shrink it's going to be swallowed by god desire but others that choose other causes, they can run the way they want, do the way they want to do, because heaven is not for them. So God don't have time for them. All what God knows that at when they finish, he will judge them. But holiness is his cause, and he's the lecturer of that cause. So he gives all his time to holiness people. So it is a cause that you people have chosen, and this cause is a cause that don't fail. You put your head into it, Heaven is for you. But if you twist and say it's too hard and jump out, know that even if you do all, falling down, doing all, studying other causes, you will never see heaven. So that is how my eye opened to know that those millions of people that are going, know heaven. Because all of them, who is preaching prosperity, this one, the race of the hand. Nobody is doing two calls, three calls. Nobody is even doing the whole calls. All of them, one, 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 one call. This is God coming to preach prosperity. This one say, yes, we are the one preaching only art sanctification. Yes, this one say, yes, we are for miracles. Yes, we, we are doing the calls. So they are specialized in this cause. And the man, these three men say, all of them going like this. If they did not change and come and do the complete doctrine, they will never go to heaven. So he now encouraged us and told daddy and say, Paul, we will limit our coming for the final debate to give the final reward, the charity gift, because you have promised to give you more time that you are going to greet people that will come and do the course. So we will give you more time. So we'll go fastly and then gather them and make sure your own people that you say you have gathered, let them study for the D day because it's going to be an open debate for those that will carry the crown. Then I woke up. Amen. So when I woke up, I sat down and I said to myself, oh, 
So this holiness calling is more than what I was thinking of as husband and wife, as you know. So it's a calling of endurance. It's a calling of you don't have, nobody have his, his or her own time. Your desire is lost in God. It's only when God gives you time to say, okay, have this, you have. Do this, you do. So I now notice that God has made me to know what it means to be a holy preacher and what we, children of God, have opened our mouth to say, I want to be like Jesus. So I now know that holiness is a deeper cause. It's a cause that nothing of your own should come into it. Everything about holiness, it should be God leading you. You want to do this, is God. You want to do this, is God. You want to have this, is God. You should make sure that it is God that says, time to go dies. Time to sleep. Time to wake up. Time to move. Time to do And I'll say, God, thank you for this revelation. Because sometimes as human beings, we mom and say, ah, even God understands, we need to do this, we need to do this. And it will not be in the way of God. So all I pray for, I say, grace to be able to be under your full control. Because sometimes as flesh, you'll be like, ah, God understands now. You say I should go to this place sometime. But let it be a time that I should never see that. When you say do this, I will resist. Because this is the cause and this is the path. I have chosen to be. Then I started singing a song. I am so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I am so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. Many are out there. They belong to Satan. They belong to demon, but I belong to my God. Many are out there, they belong to witches. They belong to Satan, but we belong to our God. Amen. I am so glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. We are so glad we belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. We belong to our God. Many are out there. They belong to the world. They belong to Satan. But we belong to our God. Many are out there. They belong to demons. They belong to the world. But we belong to Jesus. Amen. We are so glad. We belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. We belong to our God. We are so glad. Or more belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. We belong to our God. I say many are out there. They belong to darkness. They belong to Satan. But we belong to the light. Many are out there, they belong to Satan. They belong to demons, but we belong to our God. Amen. I was so happy that I've known the course I'm doing. Holiness is the way to heaven. No doubt about it. I'm so glad for God to make me to know holiness is the cause. And I'm ready to study the cause by his grace. Hey, many are out there. They belong to Satan. They belong to demons. But we belong to Jesus. Many are out there. They belong to demons. They belong to darkness. But we belong to our God. Amen. Please rejoice. Many don't know what they are doing. Many. We are so blessed. Me, I'm so happy since I got this dream that God has saved me. I was among denominations believing in only one thing. Hey, I say, I am so happy. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I am so glad for knowing the truth. 
I belong to Jesus. Oh, I belong to my God. Amen. We are glad. We belong to holiness. We are students of holiness. We will do the course. We will go deeper. We will go with it. We will win souls. No matter what they say, denomination say, we will do holiness. Holiness cause will be spread all over. Many are out there. They belong to Satan. They belong to false doctrine. But we belong to our God. Many are out there. They have missed heaven. They have missed the way. But we belong to our God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this revelation leaves us in a mixed condition as a, when the foundation of the temple was laid by Zerubbabel. Some rejoiced the temple has begun while others were crying not in the glory of the former temple. So there was both the voice of praise and gladness mixed with sorrow. So I am on the sorrow side. Maybe my wife and you people are in the joyful side. And maybe some are on sorrowful side too with me because of the challenge before us. And because of mankind that have purposely chosen to go against God. Ha, ah, sit down. Once again, we want to listen to those who have been given understanding of the message we have heard that will share with the rest the way they understood it. You have understood this message and you want to share with us the way you have understood it. Yes, among the coordinators, want to have people and others. Amen. Amen. The revelation we just listened to has given us some, uh, given us understanding as to the ministry uh, we found ourselves in now, which is uh, holiness. Uh, from the ministry, uh, from the revelation, I understand that. The way in which one will please the heart of God is to do away with your will and your way and focus on the will of God for you to be able to please Him. And uh, yes, from what uh, have been explained, there is something so, I mean, there are challenges. The challenges are so tense that if you don't stand, you will not be able to uh, get to the end. And it was also revealed that those who started it at the early stage, which is our forefathers, they struggle, they work hard for them to be able to uh, finish well. And then the enemy are so many that if you look at their numbers, if you look at the way they are contending with the will of God, you will not be able to make it. And so 
ours is that we must be focused and uh, purposeful. We shouldn't see as if uh, we will not be able to make it. In the uh, sight of the other contenders, they are seeing it that it is impossible. Holiness is impossible. But if we align with God, uh, we'll be able to make it. And also, there's something there that the gift that they are bringing, which means at the end of uh, our training and everything, there is a reward waiting for us. But that reward will not come until we are able to finish it. And then something there also that I learned is that uh, the, it's a scriptural uh, fulfillment which says many are called, but few are chosen. And then are uh, there are many that be entered, we should strive to enter. For on that day, many will say, uh, we did this, we performed miracle in your name, and so on. But the Lord will say, I knew you not. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate the mighty God of Jesus Christ. In fact, I joined this ministry. I'm a young baby, but I have passion for this ministry. When mommy started the revelation, I work as a pastor's wife more than 33 years. When mommy was saying that daddy has no time to rest in the house, I remember when my husband suffered. It's not easy when I'm talking to the coordinators about the pastor's wife. We have to sacrifice ourselves. If we didn't sacrifice ourselves, we will not move anywhere. Holiness is not by mouth, my children, my brothers, my sisters. As I'm standing here, I have the passion we have to back this man in any talent that you have. If you want to make heaven, I have the passion. These outside people are one not. When they are talking about Orthodox churches, that is my prayer point. Always say, my people are going to hell. My people are going to hell. My people are going to hell. Lord Jesus, let us join our hand. Let see this Indian film. They translate it in Hausa. Why can't we translate the message of this man in Hausa? Rubbish talk. They translate in Hausa. It is God's work that we cannot, the messages that we cannot translate. Hmm. Eh? I, we have to pick challenge, oh. We have never started. But by God, we will overcome it. I thank God for the life of this Baba Porika. The Lord is on your side. We have to raise up. We have to stand to back him. Those that are ready for heaven. And you, the pastor's wife, I pray for you. Cross yourself. Even if it is government work, it's going to disturb you for this work. Leave it. The Lord is going to see you. Mommy Linda, Tana, I can go nothing, eh? Babu. Baba Porika, I can go nothing, eh? Basu Chi, Basu Shang. Why are we deceiving ourselves, wasting our time? Muna Bata Loko Chi, we have to stand. Mutasha say, Loko Chi, Ari Gaya Yi. The one I'm ministering, Allah, I had that. Zaytafi. Kumada Mutafi, the Shia Sama, Kamea, the Akura. Imu Mamma Akura, Zamu Jesama. Mwiyo kwa kwari muada ka mkwa wade yare Kiyo kwa kwari kije garinki Kibada kabari Ida ngana taro mata ya kwa kitafi Ngana taro mbaptis kitafi Tana iwa ni kitafi Taro mbaptis kwa wane darika Assemblies of God, Catholic Kada muigudusu Let's go, buy the materials Buy materials and go for evangelism 
No time to wait in the house. May God help us. I have, I have much to talk, but because of time, I will stop like that. May God help us. Daddy and mommy, we are praying for you people. Thank you. We are praying for you people. We Amen. are on our knees, and the Lord is going to give us victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I came out because I saw the practical proof of this revelation in our just concluded crusades in Mina. The way the denominational pastors have hated this ministry, hated the director. They showed it by, they showed it by refusing to attend the conference, the crusade. They spent my meeting with them in their meetings where there are over 50 pastors, but alas, only one of them showed up for this crusade. Praise the Lord. I am saying this to show that the people hate the man. How many of them? They have all Pastor Rica's book. They have all, all this, all the trust we are sharing here on marriage, on this. They had all of them, but for them not to show up in that crusade, it's an evidence that they hate holiness. So I'm saying this to let us know that this revelation is nothing but, it's the truth and nothing but the truth. The people out there, they hate holiness. And I'm saying this to encourage those of us whom God has shown mercy to come close to this holiness. Let's take it with all our strength with all our might, and I am sure the Lord will give us the victory in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. The revelation is true. The people out there, many and majority of them, hate holiness. But thank God, we are choosing the way of holiness. God will help us to hold it with all our strength and make it at the end, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I give God the glory for the revelation. Really, I came out because Daddy Rika has people indeed. Last month, fifth or sixth, was when our badge, Badge B Stream 2 of NYC Plateau State, left the camp. As married women, we were told we would not stay in the camp. So I was at home going to the camp to do one or two things on my mufti. But one of the officers told me on the day of leaving the camp, I have to dress complete. So I wore my skirt and everything. That day, I'm happy because. At that camp, after everything, they were so angry at me. One of the officers, a, a male, was telling me he will naked me here. They were so angry, talking and everything. I should just leave. I should not allow the state coordinator to see me and so on and so forth. But while leaving, I was like, wow, all these people, because all the core members, I was the only one on skirt. And then I was like, God, all these people will perish. And the verse that kept coming to my heart was, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. So after the camp and everything, as if I will not get my PPA, but God did his miracle and everything, I got my PPA. So we continued and everything. Coming back to the secretariat for me to do clearance and other things, God kept seeing me through until the battle started. 
So to cut the long story short, because I just submitted the reply to the query I was given, I submitted it on Monday, then we came here Wednesday. So it's still there. After the conference, I will go and hear, because they've started really. When mommy was emphasizing that the Lord said we should study, I remember what our state evangelist told me, because he's on the matter too. So he told me, he was telling me some scriptures and was telling me to study well. And really, they were asking questions. The whole of them would gather on me. Sometimes they would call me um, to use me as an example to discourage other call members if they try and everything. And they would keep asking questions. So a state evangelist told me to read. I should know the scriptures well on trousers and other things. So with this message, God helping me, I will study more because I don't know whether I'll be taken to the disciplinary committee or what their reaction will be because I've replied the query and submitted on Monday before coming here Wednesday. I pray the Lord will continue to keep us. Really, that Erika has people and the Lord will keep us and will make heaven at the end in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The revelation is the picture of the generation we are in. That many so-called Christians doesn't believe that holiness is possible. The first epistle of Peter 1 verse 15 says, Be holy for I am holy. But Many, including the so-called ministers of God. They don't believe that somebody can live here in the planet and this kind of time we are in. Full of wickedness everywhere. And still remain holy and maintain holiness. And again, it is to remind us the broad way and the narrow way. That a lot of so-called Christians are on the broad way. And very few are on the narrow way. But our determination and decision is heaven is my focus. Because the reward that is coming. He says it's coming and his reward is in his hand. To give as many as. And I want to remind us. That the Bible said in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. It said, I have not seen, ear have not heard, and it have not been conceived in the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that love him. So it takes the love of God that it, you will only say it is the will of God must be done in your life. Your will will be lost in the will of God. And it takes all to make a decision that whether several like it or whether devil like it or not, I have decided for Christ. A song says, if no one follow me, I'm sure I'm going there. Brethren, the battle line has been drawn. And the battle line is who is on the Lord's side. And you are on the Lord's side. We are on the Lord's side. It's for you to make a decision. That come what come may, come rain, come sun, I have decided for him. And I walk it out. And by the special grace of God, the Bible said, strive to enter. Are there few, are there how many we make? It said, there may be few, but strive to be one of them. And holiness members, and that is why we are standing. And that is our decision. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the revelation. It actually ind indicates the love of God towards us because it's deepening our understanding about what God's doing. My joy is that we are on the Lord's side. But the responsibility is that we must rise up to study hard in order to win at the end. Presently, the people in the other side are more in number 
they looked more from Bayant and the more promising. But at the end, they don't have any reward. There's great reward for us. Let us stand firm. Let us support this work from our hearts with everything inside of us. Knowing that this present time is being limited. Very, very soon, it will soon be over. And we are privileged to be in a place like this. The liberation helps me personally. It deepens my interest even about this movement. Please, let's remain firm. Let us not follow the perishing majority in their ways of ministerial approach, ministerial life, doing many things, involving Satan, serving, say they are calling Jesus, involving Satan to do ministry. That is no way to follow Jesus. Follow him in total, absolutely. And he will see us through at the end. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am happy to be among the holy people of God. But I'm boarding. After this revelation, immediately the revelation was just like I should start crying. Just like as daddy says. A lot of people are on the side of Lucifer. By my understanding, that personality was not a pastor. The personality that said they will follow me is a devil. And he's fight, he wants to fight anything it takes, even among us. We should be careful so that will not be the tools that you use to fight this ministry. Anybody that makes himself or herself available for this battle of Satan, for Satan to win through him, there is a cause that will follow that person because we have had all these things. And I also want to encourage us to pray more. For We have been praying for daddy and mommy every blessed day in our house, which we intensify because it's in the war front, like Joab. Also pray for daddy Kumui. I understand that he started, they say even his own is not making an impact. I do pray for him all the time. And I pray for Nadi Rika and Melinda. The battle line has been drawn. We should not join Satan to fight this movement. May God give us the grace to stand by him and to be his crown at the end of the journey in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. This revelation is food for thought. It calls for sober reflection. It calls for determination to persevere. It calls for deeper commitment on those that want to go the narrow way. Because the subject matter is very broad. And it requires diligence. It requires serious duty. No time for pleasure, no time for rest, no time for holiday, no time for trivialities. It's going to be business, business, business. We have to be like soldiers in the war front. The Lord told the children of Israel on departure from Egypt that they will eat the food with their sandals and they're well-dressed, ready for the go. It calls that you will know that you are in a war front. And like our sister have just said, that personality that was bragging is Satan himself. You don't need a prophet to tell you. It's so clear, it's so clear that Satan himself is the one boasting. And he said that, all, that it was years, centuries back that holiness was being you know, uh, considered, but it's, it's, it's long forgotten. And you and I know that that's what is playing out today, that you talk about holiness, you are ridiculed, you are looked down upon, you are a not, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a palatable, like I, I, was, I used to say, we are preaching the unpopular gospel. 
the gospel that is not popular, the gospel that is like, who, are, who is this person? Where is he coming from? Where are they heading to? Their own is too much. But thank God for the way God helped our daddy, the way he systematically answered the devil, the way he doggedly responded to every situation, and he found favor with the Lord. Say, so give me some time. I have people, and I will come with them next time. And I want to believe that you and I are the people that he has, that we will come with him, that we will team up with him, that when next they will call, who are those people in this course, in this, uh, this scene, we will stand up a mighty army. We will stand with him a mighty army, standing behind him, saying we are, one, we are those that have joined ourselves, and we are ready to go with him. We are ready to go all the way. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All we have to do is to follow. Daddy, we are following, and the Lord will help us to follow you, and we shall all get there. And the Lord shall be glorified and honored in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Uh, this uh, revelation is a practical uh, event. At such a time like this, we discover that even right now in the world, there is not, nothing like holiness or righteousness or the message going on. Everywhere, people are, they have forgotten it. They are rushing after one thing or the other. And so nobody is giving attention to what God has revealed to us. It is a fact. Look at the intimidation that the devil or the people of Satan were giving to our daddy. They were just brandishing all those, and those are just uh, empty threats. They were just uh, telling him to, in order for him to be suppressed. But I thank God, Daddy did not say anything. He was not suppressed. That shows that at the end of all this uh, battle, it's a great battle that the devil has drawn a line. It is a battle line that has been drawn. The intimidation and all the brandishing is fake and is empty. Because at the end, even though daddy was alone with mommy Linda, even if they had ended that judgment, daddy would have still won with his people. So empty thread does not make anything. And already they know that they have been condemned. And the population, that shows the whole world, the population that is going to be condemned at the end of time. And the population that will be saved will be very, very small. Even right now, it's terrible. This call for more effort that we should put on this armor, this enough armor to run this race because it's going to be terrible. Even we that are here right now, it will take the grace of God. The Bible says that Jesus said, when I come, will I find the faith in my children? Will I still find the faith? It's going to be terrible. With all this that they are wearing, everything they are putting on, the position they are occupying in the society, how they have taken over the whole economy, the whole world. They never believe that there is something like holiness or anything that is still going. In fact, heaven. So we should not be, it, it, it's not a new, it's not threatening and it's not something that we say we are not aware. It is something that we are aware. But what we need now is to prepare. Thank God God gave the, uh, that the opportunity to represent his people, to bring his people in the next time. And this opportunity means that we have to prepare so that the next time, if it will be, or at the end, if it is rapture, the Lord should make that in his own kingdom. The Lord will give him a kingdom in heaven. And that kingdom will be more better and will have enough people to present to God at the end of time in Jesus' name. We are going to continue to put more effort. Let's not play around like before. There is no time again. Things have gotten out of hand. And so watch out and pray that it will not catch up with us on our ways. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, it is not. The Lord came to the world to see how many are ready for the rapture. But the number is so poor. Satan has carried almost everybody. 
They are preaching, but they are preaching other things. All because man is not willing to release himself totally to God. He's more interested for himself. And since in the revelation, holiness revival movement is rising up with the hope to gather many people to righteousness. The Lord is saying, I will give you time. Let me delay the rapture and wait for what you have promised to do. I will delay and give you time. It agreed with one time we were praying when the sense of the Lord's coming was too close and I was pleading with the Lord. I said, Lord, you see holiness movement has just come. Give me a little time. Please don't come yet. Let's walk more. You, you, you will get people. Because if you come, where will you get the people? This is like a repetition. Now God has given us time. I'm waiting for you. I will delay my coming. To how, how, for how many years? I don't know. One year more? Two years more? Three years more? We're not aware. But I'm giving you time. Since you believe you will get more people to holiness, I will wait for you want to rise up and say, God, let not holiness die. Let not this movement be conquered. Satan said, I will be among you. I will come and trouble you. Go, pray for yourself. Let not this movement be affected. Let us stand as we have promised God will stand. Holiness will stand. We will bring more people to holiness. We will spread holiness in the world. Tell the Lord so. servant is the power of holiness in the world. It is his determination to stand. It is his walk among the people. The rest are holy. So my Father, my God, Jesus, pour down your power upon your children. Pour down your holiness upon your children. Holy God, quicken us. Let us turn. Encourage your children, everyone, to stand.
Jesus. Help us. Help us. Hmm. Open the eyes of my brethren to holiness. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Jesus name we pray you will find time to pray you that you are already weak see it now are you going to join these other people because the revelation said we are going to appear before them the crowd of holiness people we may not be as many as them but we shall be sizable. Are you going to be on our side? My sister, brother, you need to go and pray and settle between yourself and your God. Change your mind. Change your mind. Because your life is already spelling that this holiness cannot, cannot be done. But now you have had no alternative. Go and change. Almighty Father, your children have hurt it themselves. They cannot drop it. Otherwise, they would die. Let them make up their minds. They will stand with you. They will stand with your servant. They will stand for holiness to the end of their lives. Help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.